Welcome back to Chasing Static. We have one final site to do, which I believe is the cafe itself. The tape player's inside of the cafe, actually. But we just need to find the tape. We're looking at irreversible damage. That's all I'm saying. I just don't get it. How did these sites go down within minutes of one another? The chances of a simultaneous system failure is so... Are you even listening? Do you hear it? They're calling us. Sam! They don't like us here. They want it back. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, help me find the tape. Yeah, like they said, what are the chances of all three sites going down within minutes of each other? Very low for that to be just a, a random occurrence. I'm sure it was planned, orchestrated. That was easier than I thought it would be. I guess... I guess that's it? All the others were so involved. to know just because I haven't been here what is off here for example whoa what is this where is this going Like it's going to be very, very easy to get lost here. Let's go left. All sites are contained, so there shouldn't be any entities chasing me, I would think. This links up with the main underground uh, bunker. I forgot the name of this facility exactly. Okay, that links up with it. Okay, let's go back then. What's down the road? Blissful silence. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> it just loops around to the other, the other side. Let's make a phone call. I think that's all the devices up and running. We can get out of here now, right? Oh, you did it, Chris. The signal array's back online. There's some stuff I need to do on my end, but we're almost done. Make your way to the Echo Garden. It's big concrete building that was visible. Hey, you're breaking up. Hello? Are you still there? Ah, oh, that can't be good. Hmm. If all three sites are up, shouldn't this thing be contained? I definitely just heard voices for a second. Echo. Echo Garden. That's the building where we need to use the wire cutters to get through the gate, right? Oh, I think I cut out going into storage. That was the part I cut out of a, a couple episodes ago when I was going to site B and that went nowhere. Yeah, there's, there's not that much in storage. Like, I just found a mobile battery. There's some bodies down there. There's a bunch of, like, big generators that look like they would power this building, but I couldn't interact with them at all. I'm kind of curious if I could now, now that the power's out. Not that I need to restore the power. I don't think I do. Yeah, lots of boxes with, like, Medical supplies and emergency rations and things like that. That's another battery. Can't pick that one up though. The lights in here work. So there's power. Do we need another jerry can? I already have a full can? Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything in storage. Why did the power go out? Sort of. <laughs> Why did the power go out in the most important room? Hmm. That's Bravo, so that's not the way. Echo. And we're in. So this is the Institute. Oh, Jesus, that was loud. Please stand back. A member of staff will be with you shortly.
I love the clunkiness of that opening. It sounded so good. Just take a quick, quick, take a quick peek around the back. There seems to be a small amount of rain indoors. <laughs> uh, that's a little weird. Man, there's a lot of auditory distortion right now. Between that and the music, I'm getting a very, very uneasy feeling. Today, March 16th, is a day that will go down in history. Our biggest breakthrough yet, we have now established contact with the other side. Through years of prolonged study and relentless analysis, our work has finally paid off. What was but a fleeting moment now stands as a shining beacon of our efforts, a reminder of why we're here, the fruit born from our collective sacrifice. To communicate, even for a matter of seconds, with one of those who has passed, proves to be the single greatest moment of my life. I'm one step closer to finding her, to be able to speak with her once again, to hear her tender words. There's nothing I want more. With our theory confirmed, we're now preparing to move on to the third stage, prolonged exposure to the artifact. I believe with the right precautions and our newfound knowledge, we can overcome these pitfalls that have previously proven detrimental to our goal. Anira, my love. We will be together again. It is only a matter of time. Anira? Uh, wasn't that the name of the person in the cafe? Right, so that wasn't actually... They weren't real. That was just who they used to be? Oh, electrical panel. Do I need to unscrew it? Ah. Okay. Success. I can continue and I can't go out. I guess that's a success. June 10th, we have found success with another host, a young male born following the initial events at GZ. That must be ground zero. The child has exceeded our expectations in control sessions here in the lab and has proven far more resilient to the side effects holding back our other participants. Through this host, we've been able to make contact on several separate occasions with clear results far exceeding our sample data. Since the acquisition, we have now doubled our staff Bringing in fresh minds with unique perspectives has vastly improved our productivity and estimated milestones. Work has started on the off-site facility, and I've been informed this should be operational by the winter. Preparations are beginning to take place for the transfer of viable hosts. I'm incredibly proud of the work we've achieved here at the Echo Garden Institute and look forward to our future endeavors. Hmm... Okay, I'm piecing together some of this. We have a young male born following the initial events at Ground Zero being used as a host. That could potentially be me, maybe. Somebody, maybe our father? Maybe, well, I guess probably not our father. I was trying to communicate with Anira, which is probably the same person that we saw at the cafe. I doubt they just happen to have the same name. So there's something going on with hosts and children, and I think we might be a host or something no power to the elevator damage beyond repair 
No. Oh. Override switch. Uh. Well, I successfully overrid something. What did I override? I guess this. Now it has power. Now I just need an access card. Jesus. Pockets are empty. Some sort of pressurized machine. Hey, there's room here for another tape. Oh, hey! <coughs> Looks like he's been through hell and back. I don't think they w came back. Jesus. Level four staff. The face is scratched out. I wonder if this was our father. Oh, I love the music in here. It's brutal. The smell is unbearable. Oh. Hmm. Staring into the display makes me feel weak. Eh. Three dots. Probably shouldn't keep staring into it. I don't know what else to do, though. Something gonna happen if I do? Oh, 
I don't think so. Alright, what am I missing? Well, I guess nothing. We have the card. We can go into the elevator now. Got a feeling this is going to be a one-way trip. Is that the room for the the child who was the host? I need to show you something. Take a seat. Uh, you want me to sit in that thing? Just get in the chair, Chris. That terminal is no longer functional. How's the machine still running? The sequence has already begun. We can't stop it from here. Get in the chair. Oh, you can see them up there. Just the outline of them. I'm not going to get in the fucking chair. This is definitely a trick. They're definitely going to make me, I don't know, the new host or, or something. They want to sacrifice me. Machine in this state would be catastrophic. I strongly suggest you reconsider. I don't trust you. Disengage the second power terminal. I'm leaning towards disengaging it, but... Neural Link, no! I am not sitting in that. Look at what happened to all the other ones that sat in it. Bonnie must have been here for years. That's the artifact. I'm shutting this down. Good. Blow it all up. This sequence may not be important. All employees proceed to the emergency platform. Repeat. All employees proceed to the emergency platform. The self-destruct sequence has and, uh, been activated. How would I do that? What is, what is, what's, what's happening? Oh, oh. Um.
Well, this is the menu intro, so is that a you died? I, I think that was a you died. Uh, I hadn't saved in a very long time, which is my bad. Um, give me a little bit to get back there. Do a save here. I need to show you something. Take a seat. Uh, you want me to sit in that thing? Just get in the chair, Chris. Let's try sitting this time. Uh, this really doesn't look safe. Fuck, what am I doing here? Chris, you've come too far to give up now. Trust me. After this, we can finally leave this place. I think you can leave this place after this. Okay, that thing does not look safe. Like, at all. It's fine. Just take a seat. Let me guess. I'm just supposed to trust you. I've got you this far, haven't I? Don't let fear overcome you now. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, screw it. Let's do this. Yep, 100% we were that kid. Chris is that kid. The host. The special child born around... Or born after the Ground Zero or on the Ground Zero? Something about Ground Zero, I forgot exactly what it said. We are that kid. Doctor, he's Establish a GPS. Do we have motor functions? Sympathetic pathway showing response. Pupils dilating. Uh... Chris, can you hear me? No verbal response.
Dr. Selwyn, the patient is stable for now. Progress has been slow today. Might I suggest a brief recuperation period? Disappointing. Run it again. I woke to a deadly silence. My legs tired fumbling over each step like I'd been asleep for a lifetime. Something was different now. A stillness to the air. As I felt the blood slowly return to my fingers, so did a flood of memories. Those years spent alone with my father. The years my mind had locked away in the darkest corner of my subconscious. I had lived this horror before, time and time again, like some kind of fever dream. My father was an honest man, a loyalist, dedicated to his craft, to science, to the pursuit of knowledge. But a compassionate man, he was not. Everything changed the day my mother passed. His... better half. He became obsessed with that village, with Hearth, and his st stupid rock that fell from the stars. For years I thought I'd see her again, that she'd just come back, arms open like she never left. Maybe we were both deluded. My father convinced me I was sick. Maybe I was. I could see things other people couldn't. Things no 12-year-old should ever see. Day after day, I wished I hadn't told him. I wished things could go back to the way they were. Visits turned into appointments. Appointments into sleepovers. It wasn't long before we stopped going back home. This is your home now. Then I met Helen. I never knew her last name. The only researcher in that damned place with a conscience. If it wasn't for her, I'd be rotting there like the rest of them. She helped me get out. To get away to a foster family in the southwest. A new life far from here. My rock. For years I dreamt about it. About that place and what it would be like to go back. Like something was calling me. That feeling. It's gone now. Whatever business my father started here, it ended when I severed that link. I guess now I can finally leave. We all can.
Ooh, I love the sound of this end track. Let's finish up with some short thoughts on what I thought about Chasing Static. I really enjoyed it. My favorite part, by far, is the aesthetic. The, the overall feel of it, the sound of it, and especially the look of it. I adore how it looks. I'm such a huge fan of something that looks retro in a lot of ways, but also has certain modern things that you wouldn't actually see in an actual PS1 era game. Like, okay, it's high resolution, for example. It has lighting effects that are more advanced than most like PS1 era games would be. I think it has like some bloom and stuff like that. Like there's certain things about it that are very modern, but it's also mixed with this PS1 era aesthetic. And that mixture is, I just love it. I love that mixture. I do wish they did more with, I forgot the name of the device, but yeah, I wish they did more with the device. It in the end really didn't seem all that important. I mean, you need to use it to like finish the game, of course, but there's just not much to it, really. I did find it a little bit frustrating. It's quite easy to get lost in some of the levels, and the whole a ghost is chasing you and doesn't stop coming even when you're like watching a memory kind of thing makes it really, really frustrating and easy to miss very important things, like what happened to me when I missed the fact that I needed to use the bolt cutters on the back of the van. Yeah, that was that was pretty frustrating. I also wasn't really sold on the writing. It felt like it was almost too grim dark, too nihilistic, too emo. It felt just like it was trying a bit too hard for me. But yeah, when it comes to the aesthetic and mood part of it, I loved it. I hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching.